Hey, I'm your money coach, Tashina Anderson, and welcome to Freedom University. All right. Hello, everyone. Hold on one second. We're getting ready to get this webinar started. I want to say hello, everybody. Welcome to a free webinar tonight. This webinar is about um, learning the five steps to freedom. So I'm going to try to give you as much value as possible and also make it as short as sweet as possible. So um, first, let's just start off with today, what you will learn. Now, what you're going to learn today is you're going to learn where to find the best stocks and free resources. So I'm going to give you guys a lot of free information tonight. The second thing you're going to learn is how to determine if you have enough money for retirement. Now, I like to call it financial independence. That's the new name for it. Um, but the old name is retirement. So it means the same thing. It's basically when you can start to live off of your money and not really worry about income from any job or business. Number three is how to check to see if you're getting a good return on your current investment. So you're gonna learn that tonight. And then you're gonna learn how to increase your return so you can make more money, okay? So a lot of good information, but before we get into it, I need to tell you who I am. So I'm a wife, I'm a mother. I am also a documented millionaire, honey, yes. Yes, I am. I'm a documented millionaire. That means that my net worth is $1 million, okay? Um, and currently today, I am so passionate about teaching, investing, and trading. Now, in the past, when I first started off in business at 27 years old, I started off in the direct selling industry. Now, not only did I you know, have success in the direct selling industry, as you can see by all the uh, you know, the checks and everything that you could see. Um, let me just make sure that um, the checks and things that you see down there um, on this picture. But I became one of the, the number one income earner in the company. And the reason I had so much success is I had a gift, I call it a gift, of teaching complicated subject matters. So if you've ever been in direct selling before, one of the things you will know is that it is not easy. And one of my gifts was just teaching something complicated, how to make something that a lot of people struggle with, how do you make it so easy that they understand it? Now, in my success um, with this company, I was able to do a lot of things. I was able to travel the world. I mean, we've been to some beautiful places. I mean, China, Alaska, Dubai, um, you name it. We have seen the world. And not only that, that business afforded me an opportunity to be able to purchase my dream home, to get my dream cars. And for me, I was so excited. I was making millions of dollars. Um, but in 2015, things started to shift. So I want to tell you a part of my story. So things started to shift in my business. And there was talks of my company possibly either going out of business or being bought out. Now, lucky for you know, myself and others, we wind up getting bored out. But during this time, I was, I was scared. I was really scared because I knew I had made a lot of money, but the problem was <laughs> I just didn't know what I, I did with that money. And you could probably relate to this. Um, you probably have been working maybe 20 years or, or more, and you can look in your account or look at what you've accumulated and say, wow, look at all those years I've been working and financially, what do I have to show for that? So this is how I felt. And so what I started to do is to take those same skills, to take that same thinking of how did I master, you know, getting um, to the top of a business that is a hard business to get to the top of, I wanted to master my finances. And so I put about $50,000 into my education. And I started taking courses, going to seminars, getting coaching, um, books. I mean, you name it. I was just investing in myself. And one of the big things that I did that I want to share with you is I live in um, the richest county in our country. 
And in this county, we live in one of the best neighborhoods in the county. Unfortunately, myself, my husband, my children, we're the only ones that look like us. Everyone else is different nationalities. There's no one that's African-American in our community. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to see these people own anywhere between two and $10 million homes. I started knocking on my neighbor's doors, asking questions like, you know, what did you do with your money? And, you know, I'm a young entrepreneur and, and you would be surprised that you would think that they would think it was crazy, but they all knew I was their neighbor and everyone was very open to sharing what they were doing with their money. I mean, everything from the type of accounts, the type of investments, and believe it or not, more of them had majority of their assets in the stock market than they did in anything else. So that intrigued me and it put me in the direction of really looking into the stock market because this is what they were saying that they were, you know, this is where they were putting their money. And I would see them in my community, like riding their bikes and taking long walks and just like looking like life was just stress-free, like, like they weren't worried about anything. And I was so like intrigued by like, well, what did they do to gain this type of freedom where they live in these nice homes, but they also don't have, they don't work businesses anymore and they're just retired and living life. So, um, I went into this thing of like researching and finding more information. And for me, when I started in the direct sales industry, one of the things that I liked about it was I thought it was an opportunity for people to, everyday people to be able to have like extreme success. So when I started looking into this, what I noticed is that there were some things that were similar. I didn't realize how easy it was for people to invest. And I also didn't realize how much money they can make from investing and that anybody could do it. So what I know is that investing is one of the best places you can put your money into the stock market. So tonight, I'm going to be talking to you about five steps to freedom. Um, in those five steps, we're going to be talking about how to create a vision, becoming the CFO of your finances, um, figuring out do you have enough money for retirement, how to know if you're making enough off your investments, and then last, we're going to talk about how to make more so you can invest more. So let's start off with creating the vision, okay? So we're going to talk about creating the vision the first thing when it comes to creating a vision is that you have to understand that there's a new way of how to manage your finances finances and investing. So before you can figure out what the new way is, first you have to know the old way. So you have to know like how did things work before? So before it first started off with people would work with companies for their entire lives and usually they would retire with a pension. And a pension plan is simply like when a company does your investing for you and they just take a you know, percentage out of your check, they put money away for you, you get, you work them for them your entire life, you get to the end and you get a pension plan. And basically that pension plan based on the money that you have given them during your time of working with them is going to give you just money every single month. They're just going to send you a check every single month. Well, pension plans started to go away and you can ask yourself if you're currently working a nine to five, if you even have a pension plan with your company because everyone transitioned into 401ks. So with this way, um, this is still considered an old way. People will work, whether they went from one job to the next, the company would have a 401k and you were now responsible for putting away your own retirement. So before they made you do it, now you're responsible. And some people will opt in. Some people will opt out. There are some companies that will make you put at least a minimum away because they don't want you to get to the end, which is retirement age, and not have enough, okay? Now, one of the big problems I see as I've been coaching people and helping people, a lot of people will refer their parents to me or someone who's already retired and they'll have this lump sum of money, maybe like, you know, a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars. And they'll say, okay, well, I'm ready to retire. 
And they don't realize because they were responsible all of this time, they were responsible for putting away enough for retirement. They don't realize that they don't have enough. So this, this generation of people who are investing in their 401ks, what I'm seeing more times than, than many, I'm seeing that they don't have enough for retirement or what we call financial independence or freedom. So the new way, there's a new way um, that has evolved. And this new way is saying, you know what? You know, forget the old way. Forget the, you know, not knowing how much. Forget the, like, waiting on the job to put it away from me. I'm going to put matters in my own hands. And I am going to put away money faster and invest faster so that I can retire before I'm 60. So they call this the FIRE movement, financially independent, retire early. And you can Google it and find videos and articles on the FIRE movement. So the new way in the creating a vision is I don't want to wait into that age of life. I want to I want to retire early because when it comes to retirement, whether you are investing on your own in your company 401k plan or you're investing outside of that, it doesn't matter uh, like it's not really about like how much time does it take now it's really more of just getting to a number so you just get to this number and once you get to a certain number you can live off of that now so let me explain this because this is really really important okay the way investing works is once you get to a large number you've been putting money away and it's building up the interest is building up and you get to this large number it produces interest every single year, every month, every year, you're making interest on your money. So the goal of retirement is you get to a number and then you live off of the interest that your money produces. So this is how you're able to achieve retirement or financial independence. I get to a number, so I'm going to give you a large number. Let's just say $1 million. And give you an example, and we're going to talk more about this in the webinar, but the uh, stock market on average did about a little over 20% uh, in 2021. So let's say you have a million dollars in your portfolio and it does 20%. Well, how much money did you make? Okay, put it in the chat. How much money did you make on, on interest on your money? Put it in the chat. Let's see if everybody can get this. I had a million dollars and I just made interest because you make interest every single year on your money. And this is how you retire. $200,000. So great. So that's $200,000. Now, when you get to retirement, what you do is you pull out the $200,000 and the following year, you still have the million dollars in your account and it produces interest again. And what do you do? You pull it out. So if the stock market in 2020 did a little over 35%, then that means you made Three hundred and fifty thousand on your million dollars, and you can just pull it out, and you can live off of that money. So you live off of the interest every year that the money produces. Okay. So in the new way, in thinking about creating a vision for financial independence, is saying, well, how do I get to this number as fast as possible so I can live off of the interest that my money produces? Now. Some things that you need to think about is you need to start having a discussion with the important people in your life, whether that's your husband, whether that is your significant other or your kids or your parents and start saying like, I need to take this serious. Maybe there's some sacrificing that you might need to do in order to make sure you're putting away enough for freedom. Um, maybe you need to kind of like really look into like, do I have all the proper things in place? Like, do I have the education? Do I know what I'm doing? Like, this is really serious because if you do not do this properly, what's going to happen is you're going to get to this age and then you're going to be looking up and saying, oh, I put money away, but you're not going to have enough. Okay. So you got to have, you not only have to start thinking about that, but you need to talk with the important people in your life to start saying like, okay, well, I want to have the vision of becoming retired financially independent. And you need to start like writing down some goals, like thinking about like, what does that look like? I always tell people like, you need to think about um, paying off your home. 
you need to think about like paying off your debt because in order to live off of your investments, it's important to have your expenses very low. So, and it's also important to be able to track your goals. So in Freedom University, we give trackers. We, you know, have things that you can write down to make sure you're keeping track of where you are because becoming financially independent and free it's not something that happens in 30 days or something that happens in 2022, okay? Think about it. You spent a lot of years of not doing maybe the proper things. And so it's not going to all of a sudden happen in one year period of time. So you're gonna be on a journey. And when I created Freedom University, I created it so you could go on the journey with other people so that you can continue to learn about how do you set yourself up for freedom. Now, when it comes to creating your vision, I have five things that I want you to kind of like really think about that you need to get into place to become financially independent. The first one is setting up things like your will, life insurance, and estate planning. Now, with a lot of my VIP members that I have in, in Freedom University, when we sit down and we go over their, their finances, you know, we're discussing things like, do you have your will and life insurance in place? I've had club members, um, VIP members who they do have life insurance, but they might not have the right ones. And they just signed up for something because someone told them to do it, but they don't have an understanding of maybe what could be better um, and what their options are. I have some people who have several different insurances, maybe with their job, but they don't realize that Maybe you should definitely look into getting insurance outside of your job just in case you don't work for them anymore and then you get older and then insurance is too expensive. So people should always have life insurance outside of their job. Number two is in order to get to financial independence is you really need to think about like clearing your debt because in order to live off your investments, you wanna have your debt like non-existent, whether it be you know your car payment, student loans, credit cards, and big one, which a lot of people don't even think about. And you need to be thinking 10 and 15 and 20 years ahead of time is how can I pay off my home? So that when I go into my financial freedom years, I want to make sure that um, my investments pay for my expenses and my expenses are low. So that mortgage is usually the biggest expense that most people have. And you can start, there's different strategies that we talk about on ways of paying down your home early. So those are all things to be thinking about as you have the vision for what does freedom look like for me? Um, also thinking about building a six to nine month emergency fund. Now, a lot of people will ask me, well, I don't have an emergency fund now, so should I start my emergency fund or should I start investing? And I usually use something called an 80-20 plan. That means 80% of my money I use to pay off debt and 20% of any extra money in my, uh, what's left over from my income, I use towards, it, towards investing. So that's called the 80-20. Number four is you need to think about um, making sure you have enough money and investments that can pay your bills. And number five, you need to look into having multiple streams of income. Now on the five steps to freedom, number two is you have to learn how to become the CFO of your finances, the chief financial officer. Now, this is extremely important because a lot of people feel like, well, I'm not good with numbers or I'm not good. I don't understand investing. And, oh, my husband does that, or, you know, it's just not something I'm good at. I really want to encourage you in order for you to create and become a millionaire or to be someone who has your finances in order and your investments in order, you have to really change your mindset. Now, I will be honest. At first, I was thinking the same thing. I didn't think I was good with numbers and I damn sure didn't think I knew anything about investing in the beginning, but I think anything that you put your mind to, you can achieve. And one of the things that I will tell you is that one of the best things that you could do for your finances is to take control of them, to be, to be the person that is working 
for you in a great way. Like think about it. If someone paid you to manage the finances for a business, that's what a, um, a chief financial officer, a CFO is. They manage the finances for a business. So what if I ask you, you know, how do you manage your own personal finances? If you were getting paid to do that, would you say that you were doing a good job? Like, are you doing a good job of managing your debt? Are you doing a good job of looking over your investments? So many people will um, like put money away in a 401k, but when they come to me and I ask them like, well, what is it invested in? They have no clue. Well, what kind of return are you getting? They have no clue. Well, if you are the CFO of your own finances, you have to know more about your finances. And in Freedom University, working with someone like myself is I give you a lot of things that maybe you're not thinking of, but things that you definitely need to pay attention to. So in order to be the CFO of your finances, let me give you some things to think about. You need to go and get a sum total of all your investment accounts. Now, why is this important? When I'm working with a lot of club members and people within um, my VIP members, what I notice is that they have money everywhere. So they'll have money with their current job. They'll have money with a previous job. They'll have money in Robinhood. They'll have money with a financial advisor. And if I ask them, well, how much money do you have total in all your investments? They don't know. And that's, that's not good. You want to know the total amount of money that you have in investment accounts, including past retirement accounts, including current retirement accounts. And one of the things that I always suggest is that if you ever leave a company, you should always bring your money with you. You should never leave it there. You need to learn how to manage it and you need to learn how to have control over it and not just let it sit in another company and you have no clue how much it's earning, you're not checking on it. Um, so there's ways that you can do that, the proper way to do that. We won't get into all of that here, but I just want you to know that you shouldn't have your money everywhere and you should also know the total amount that you have, okay? The other thing to be a CFO of your finances is to find out if you, the companies that you're with, if they're charging you a monthly fee. So there's a lot of like new companies out there. Um, there's a lot of new companies out there like Stash and Acorn, companies like that that will charge you a monthly fee to invest your money. And I just want to, I want to encourage you to look into that. And the reason for that is because there's so many great companies that don't charge you anything. And you can buy those same exact investments with them and not pay a fee. So if I was giving advice to, you know, one of my children, or if I'm giving advice to like a, a family member, the first thing I would tell them to do is to move their money into a place where they're not getting charged a monthly fee. The other thing is you need to find out what type of investments you do own. So if you go to any account that you have that is being managed by your company or being managed by an advisor, you need to know what they have your money into. Like what's the style that they're using and the strategy that they're using to invest your money. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about why that's really, really important. But most importantly, you a lot of people will go and look at their portfolio. I had one club member um, that was a VIP member and they went into their company 401k. And this was really sad because this lady was only a few years away from retirement. And this entire time she had been putting money away and it, was, it wasn't really invested in aggressive funds. So the return that she was making was only about 4%. And you're gonna see why that's not a good return. And she had some money in there, but she could have had 10 times the amount in her, um, in her account, only if she knew what she was actually invested in. So it's important for you to know what types of investments you have inside your portfolio and look at the returns that you're getting. Not only do you need to look at the returns, you also need to know like if, if they're good or bad returns, but you need to know like how do they compare? 
So let's say, for instance, you look in your 401k and it's not a great return. Well, how do you know if it's a good return or if it's a bad return? Okay, so let's talk about a little bit about like, how do you know if it's a good or bad return? So in the stock market, if you've ever watched any of those like news channels um, or you've ever heard the term the S&P 500, you might see it like in a little ticker down at the bottom on one of those news channels. Well, the S&P 500 is a fund, okay, that holds the top 500 companies in the United States. It's a fund, right? So when you put your dollar into it, your dollar is split up amongst 500 companies. And everything is pretty much in the stock market circling around the S&P 500. Everything that is uh, all these companies, they're trying to beat the S&P 500 returns. Any other funds that are created are trying to beat the S&P 500 returns. So if you look in your portfolio and it's not getting what the S&P 500 is getting, then your portfolio is underperforming because the market is basically the S&P 500. So these are the top 500 companies in the United States. And if your portfolio is getting less than that, then you're underperforming in reference to what everyone else is getting because you should be getting that plus some. You know, you can pick things that give you more than the S&P 500, but at a bare minimum, you should be getting what the S&P 500 gives. So I want to go into showing you a little bit more on that and give you a free resource. So if you go to Google and you just put in Yahoo, oops, Yahoo Finance, you can click on um, the website to get there. Now I have it saved as a book, bookmark because I go there so often, but this is one of the best resources to get to know. And in Freedom University, those guys, they have like, we go through how this free resource works, all the things that you can find, but I'm going to show you some simple things tonight and give you some little key tips that can help you in reference to just understanding everything about the market. So the S&P 500, remember, is a fund. And the thing about it is that a lot of different companies will create their own S&P 500. So major companies like Vanguard or Fidelity or Charles Schwab, if you've ever heard of their names, they're big brokerage companies. Um, they have their own S&P 500. So there are several different S&P 500 um, comp uh, uh, funds that you can actually put your money into. So I'm going to show you one, which is called the SPY, S-P-Y. We use the SPY um, for trading, and you can use the SPY for investing. But I'm just going to click on it, S-P-Y. So you just put the, it's the ticker, which is like the identification code for the investment. So you can see it says the S&P 500, right? So free resource, Yahoo Finance. Let me show you how to know. Um, we're going to talk about um, some, some interesting facts, like how to pick the best stocks, how to find the best stocks. So we want to talk about free resource, how to find the best stocks, because I want to make sure everything that I promised you in the email and everything that I've promised you through the, the um, advertisement that I'm giving you all that information. So one of the things I talk about is how to find the best stocks. Well, if the S&P 500 is the top 500 companies in the United States, well, one way to find the best stocks is just to look inside the S&P 500. So we put in the SPA, we pulled it up, and then all you have to do is go right down here to holdings. So if you go to holdings and you just scroll down, Right here, you will see the top 10, uh, the top 10 holdings in the S&P 500. And it tells you this makes up about 27% of the total assets that are in the S&P 500. So here are the top 10. Now you might be familiar with some of these names, but when I tell you on this list, you cannot go wrong. These are the top stocks in the United States. So if you wanna find the best stocks, one way to do it is just to look on the S&P 500 top 10 list. Have you ever heard of Apple? 
Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, and they're in order in um, how many, um, the percentage of shares that they have in the portfolio. So Apple is pretty much the top one uh, in the S&P 500 in this fund, and they have the most amount of shares that they've purchased in this fund in Apple. So this is the percentage of assets, and it kind of goes just right in order. So which company did they purchase the most of? And then you can see the symbol, which is the ticker symbol, if you ever want to purchase these stocks. Now, I'm going to show you something, and I just gave this information inside of one of our classes in Freedom University. So I'm going to give you guys a free little nugget. So we're going to go back to summary. And you can see that this is an ETF, which we will talk about another time of what is an ETF. But it's $464 a share. Now, all you have to do is to know what kind of return did the S&P 500 get, right? Because what we first started off doing was we talked about if you look in your 401k or any investment with a financial advisor and you say, and you look there and you say, well, what was my return last year? How do you know if that was a good return is you need to check the S&P 500 because that's the standard of what the market did last year. So all you have to do is come from summary and then go right over here where it says full screen. So I'm going to click on full screen. Okay. Now I want to make sure you guys are still with me. So, all right. So this is how you check. So we're in 2022, right? January of 2022. So what you do is you go to December of 2020. Now write this down, do the math with me, write this down. I'm gonna show you how to do some simple math. So write this number down. You're gonna write down 370. Um, and if you can see, I have my cursor. I wanna make sure you guys can see this. I have my cursor on the date. So if you look right down at the bottom, you see the date. You should see the date all the way at the bottom. It says 1231, 2020. Does everybody see that? And then if you take your eyes up, there's like a cross and go right to the right. It tells you the price of the S&P 500 on 12-31-2020, which is $373.88. Does everybody see that? You see the price over here on the right. And you see the date down here at the bottom. Okay. Where was it? Find the last day of the year, 2020. Okay. So $373.88, so write that number down. And then we're just gonna look at what the returns look like last year. So, okay, now you go to, so one whole year went by, all of 2021. Let's just go to around the first day of the year, this year. Okay, so then you write down the price $477.71. So you have the price that the S&P was at the end. And then you have the price of the S&P for like the whole year. So January. So you got a whole year of price movement. Okay. Now, all you have to do is do this. Take out your calculator. Take your phone out if you're not already on your phone. But take your phone out and I'm going to do the math for you. So you're going to take 373 and divide it by 477. So you take the lower number and divide it by the higher number. And you should get, of course, I didn't write down all my math numbers, 373.88 divided by 477.71. So you should get about 78%. You say 0.78. Do you guys see that? 0.78. Okay, so you write that down. And all you have to do is do 100 minus 78. And it gives you 22%. Okay, so the S&P 500 in 2021 gave you 22% on your money. 22% on your money. Which means if you would have put $10,000 into the S&P 500, into the market. And in one year, you would have gotten back 
$2,200. That's basically 22% on your money, okay, for the entire year, okay? Now, let's just take a look at, you know, so one of the things you want to do is you want to look and check and see, well, what am I invested in? And did I get returns similar to what the market gave? Because if not, I need to maybe reevaluate what I'm invested in. Make sense? Okay. Let me check the chat. <laughs> Make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's look at, let's do one more. And let's look at Apple. Apple is a company that is one of the top companies in the S&P 500. So all the companies as well as funds are also trying to outperform the market. So let's just look at if you were to put your money into an individual stock like Apple, what kind of return did you get on your money? And um, when you put your money into the to the S and P five hundred, your dollar is split amongst five hundred companies. So the way I explain it is to say like you you have less risk because it's like depending on a bunch of people or you want to depend on one person. So that's a way to like not really worry about anything because over time history has said since the S and P five hundred was created that over time, it at least gives you 10% return. So the market does have negative years, okay? And it doesn't always give you 20 something percent. Last year it gave you over 35%. 20, uh, in 2020, it gave you over 35%. In 2021, it gave you over 20%. Does that happen every single year? No. What it is said and what is documented, not just what it said, but what is documented is over time, you get about a 10% or more return on your investment in the stock market. And that averages in any negative year or all the great years that which have great returns and any year that could be a negative year and maybe you um, lose a percentage or two. Okay, so just so you understand that. Now let's just look at Apple, okay? So let's do the same thing. We're just gonna do the same thing so you understand um, the difference between, you know, getting a return if you had 10,000 in Apple, if you had 10,000 in the S&P 500. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to the end of 2020, the last day. So Apple on this day was about 133.72. And then we're going to take all the 2021 returns and we're going to get to the beginning of 2022. And Apple, write this down, is about 182.01. So if you divide the 133 by the 182, you should get 73. Same math. And then if you do 100 minus 73, that gives you the percentage you would have gotten on your money with Apple, which is 27%. So Apple outperformed the S&P 500. Now, do all stocks outperform the S&P 500? Nope. Do some of the top ones outperform it? Yes. Amazon didn't outperform the S&P 500 and it's one of the top. So you can either, you know, take more risk sometimes with even picking some great companies because every year they don't outperform the S&P 500 just to give you, a, a, you know, uh, something to think about. Just because it's a top company doesn't mean that it outperforms the S&P 500. And that's the beauty of having your money in a fund that has all the companies in it. Because even if you have a good company and it doesn't perform that year, your portfolio will still perform because other companies will make up for the lack in other good companies. Now, here is number three when it comes to, here's number three when it comes to you know, the five steps to financial freedom. And hopefully, are you guys getting good information? Is this good information for you tonight? Let me just make sure that you're getting good information. Good information, thumbs up. Okay. All right, so great, great, great. All right, so let's talk about number three. So number three is how do you find out if you have enough for retirement? Now in Freedom University, we go over this into extreme detail, but I'm going to give you 
I, I want you to know this information because this is probably one of the most important parts of this webinar. And more importantly, this is the center of why I created Freedom University is so that you can have an understanding that you're not doing enough, that you need to do more. And if you wait too late, it's going to be too late because investing is really all about timing and investing your money as early as possible. And I'm going to give you some examples. But this is just how, this is a simple way of figuring out some quick math. If you want to figure out, do I have enough money for retirement? Um, so here's what you do. Take your monthly expenses, all your bills for now, whatever you feel like you spend a month in rent, mortgage, food, entertainment, take that whole number and do times 12, and that'll give you your annual expenses. So take your monthly expenses times 12 will give you your annual expenses. And all you have to do is take that annual amount and do times 25. Now, here's an example, and this gives you your freedom number. So here's the example at the bottom. If you have $3,500 a month in monthly expenses times 12 means you have $42,000 in expenses for the year, annual expenses. Take that number times 25 and you get your freedom number. This is how much money you need for retirement. A little over a million dollars, right? Look at her face, <laughs> okay? Her face is saying to you, what? You need what? Okay, I don't have that. Or I don't have anywhere near that. And this is important. And this is, this is why I tell you this is so important because you really need to know, are you on track? Do you have enough? Um, should you be putting away more? And if you're not, I want you to get to it because there's something called the 4% rule. And the 4% rule is how you come up with this number. So you might be saying to me, well, where did 25 come from? It's long. It, you know, just trust me when I tell you that this is how financial advisors, this is how people come up with your financial freedom number, your retirement number. It's off of something called the 4% rule. And you can look more into that, but, um, and we have more information on it in Freedom University. But for now, just know that this is how the simple and quick way of you knowing what is your total amount that you need for retirement. Now, another free resource that I just happen to love is a compound interest calculator that. Um, a company called NerdWallet, and you can Google it that they have. Now, um, what I love about this, I'm just going to give you an example. And, and this is based off of this right here. So let's say you need a million dollars for retirement. And let's just say you haven't gotten started yet. So say you haven't gotten started. This allows you to put in some numbers and kind of figure out well, what do you need to do or what do you need to make sure you continue to do in order to get to that number? And what's the number again? A little over a million, right? Okay, $1,050,000 in order for you to have an income of about $42,000 a year, okay? All right, so let's go back here and let's take a look. Let's just say the initial deposit is $100 because they don't let me start with zero. If you put in zero, it just doesn't let you, it just puts in 100, okay? You need to say, well, okay, well, when am I going to retire? And let's just say, you know, you're in your 40s and you want to retire in 20 years and your 60s. Now, you can always go back and redo the math on this and use this free resource to kind of figure out your personal situation, but... Here's an estimated rate of return of 10%. Why did I put in 10%? Because even though the market last year did a little over 20 and the year before that, it did a little over 35, they say on average, if you average out all of these years that you should get um, on average 10% or maybe a little bit more. But I always rather under promise than over promise things. So let's just stick with 10%. So let's just say... Um, you have 20 years between now and retirement, and you want to get to a, a little over $1 million. So you need to figure out, well, what is my monthly contribution going to be? So this example alone says I haven't started, and I'm going to need about $1,400 a month in order to, for me to get to that number. So this gives you an idea of what you would need to, you know, contribute monthly 
and to make sure that you get to this number. So it's, there's some important things right here that I want you to see. One I want you to see is that I'm basing it on an average return of what the S&P 500 does. So if you look at your portfolio and your portfolio every year is not performing accordance to like the S&P 500, the problem is you might not get a estimated rate of return of 10%. You might get something like, you know, I don't know, 5% or 7%. But see the difference if you don't understand um, if you're investing in the right things, do you see the difference between you and me? We could both be putting in the same amount, but because your return is only 6% and I'm getting a return of about 7%, I mean, 10%, do you see the difference in how much I have and how much you would have just knowing how to get a better return on your money? Okay, so this is really, really important. And this has to do with why I want you to go check on your investments and check on your returns. Some other things that I want you to see with using this calculator and things that we have in Freedom University is investing for your kids. So let's say you got a kid is either just born or you have a kid that you say, you know what? Well, um, I want to get them started. So if you get them started, let's say you have a, a 10 year old. OK, you have a 10 year old. And just do average. You can always go in and, and do this later. And you want to say, okay, well, I want you to have enough money for retirement. And again, I'm using 60. Can we use retiring at 30 or 40? Absolutely. But what if you just started that 10 year old with putting away $100 a month? 10% return, 50, I'm sorry. No, we're going to do when it turns 60, sorry. So if let's go back, see how these numbers change, how time has such an important role in investing and why I don't want you to wait to learn this information. Because if you give that 10 year old $100 a month and you start them on the path and they continue it, they only have to put $100 a month in. And then when they're 60, they'll have $1.7 million just by investing $100 a month just by $100 a month. Now, take a look at this little graph over here. I forgot to kind of go over this before, but um, the blue is a representation of how much money you've put in, which is $100 over 50 years. This is the blue, okay? The green is a representation of interest. So compound interest is playing into how much money you have. So a lot of times people say, well, a million dollars, well, you don't have to put a million dollars away because you're earning compound interest. And compound interest, Albert Einstein says, is like the eighth wonder of the world. And you know, there are some people who pay it and then there are some people who earn it. And when you understand compound interest, this will make you want to, I don't know, throw up. It'll make you sick to know, wow, what if my parents would have started me with $100? How much would I have right now if... Um, if they were just putting a hundred dollars away from me and they were investing it in the S and P 500, imagine how our children could be multimillionaires, such simple thing to do just to put a small amount away for them every single month in a simple investment. And this green. So if you put your cursor right on the, the last year, it shows you that you only put $60,000 in, but your child would have $1.7 million. And when I look at this, it makes me so sick to know like that some of us had graduated. I mean, I've been working for a long, I've been working since I've been 15 years old. <laughs> like what if I would have known to start putting money away, $50, $100 away in my paycheck. Imagine what my investment account would be if I would have started doing that. Imagine when you started working at 20, maybe you're 40 and let's just say 20 years, 20 years ago, let's say you would have started putting money away and you, let's just say you started putting, um, you know, $500 away 20 years ago. Look at how much money you would have. Take a look at this. $500 away. 20 years ago, 
and you would have put away 120,000 in your interest that you would have earned that compounds in the stock market, you would have earned $263,000 just by putting $500 away 20 years ago. So this is really important information. This is a great free resource. And I encourage you to go back and use it as many times as you need to. And you can always say, well, you know what? I already have money already invested um, with my job. And maybe you can look in your account and you already have $50,000. And you can say, well, I know what my freedom number is. Right now I'm only putting $500 away and I have 20 years of retirement but my freedom number is a little over a million. So how much more do I need to put in? So if I'm already putting 500, I need to put an extra $400 away to make sure I get to my number. So use this calculator as a way to check on your own personal finances and make sure if nothing else that you are understanding how you need to prepare yourself for the day that you have to live off of your investments. So number four says to find out if you're current, if you are making enough on your current investments. And I kind of already went over that, which is basically you just going in, checking to see no matter where your money is, what's the return that you're getting and do they compare to what the average market return is giving right now currently. Now, number five is something that, you know, my Freedom University members absolutely love, but this is how to make more so you can invest more. So in Freedom University, not only do we teach investing and there's different strategies that we teach in investing. So tonight I talked a little bit about the S&P 500. Well, in Freedom University, I talk more about what are some funds that are still not as risky. They're not individual stocks. What are some funds that are outperforming the S&P 500? Where do you find them? How do you know um, how to make sure that it's not out overcharging you? These are all the things that we go over in Freedom University. And the biggest one outside of that is what a lot of people are interested in today is learning how to make money with um, options. So options trading. So first, let's just talk about what the difference is between investing and trading. Yes. So someone asked, can this work for the Rift Savings Plan, retirement with the government as well? Yes. I have a lot of VIP members who um, work for the government, which is the Thrift Savings Plan. And um, they work for the government and we go over, they have different, um, they have the same ones, but we go over the ones, how to look in your account, how to look at the returns and how to um, put your money into the right asset allocation, like the right percentages based on your age. Okay, so let's get back to options. Here's number five. How do you make more so you can invest more? This is my favorite one, okay? So investing is very important. And everyone needs to know if they're doing this the right way and they need to understand this because if not, what happens? You get to a time in life when it's too late and time is what makes investments in the stock market work. But there's ways of speeding up the process. So in Freedom University, we talk about how to outperform the S&P 500. And I also show you strategies of how to create um, income through dividends um, through investing as well. That's another way that you can build your portfolio in the stock market. And that's something that I do for me to retire early. And in Freedom University, I go over my portfolio, my children's portfolio. And even the beginning of this year, we have a recorded class where I talked about all my returns and what I was able to make and, and, and what um, investments that I had. Now, options, investing and options trading. Okay, so there's a lot of different trading out there, but let me just explain the difference between the two. Investing is when you put money in every single month and then you get to compound interest along with the money you put in and you get to this large number and you live off the interest. So you pull out the interest and you live on it. That's investing. Trading is when you put money up, you earn a percentage on your money, you pull out the money that you put in that which was just your money you pull it out of the investment and you also pull out the return and then you can take that money that you earned 
and you can send it back to your account and you can use it to pay off debt and you can use it to build your investment account up faster. Okay, so I teach options trading. Now there's a lot of different trading out there. There's stock trading. You might've heard of Forex trading. Um, but what I teach is options trading. Now tonight, I'm not going to get into a lot of what options trading is, but I do want to give you some just basic understanding of what options trading is. So when you do stock trading, you basically try to buy the stock low and then try to then sell it um, when it gets, you know, when it gets to a higher point, right? But that can take a really long time and some stocks are, are expensive and you can have to put up a lot of money to make a decent return. And you also have to wait sometimes months for that stock to go up. So stock trading takes a little bit longer and you need a lot of money to kind of like really see anything great from it. Options trading, the reason why that was so like interesting to me is because you don't have to have as much money and you can make your return within minutes. I know, sounds too good to be true, right? <laughs> but let me go over some things with options trading and then um, you know, you'll know you get to see why I like it so much. So for one, options trading is um, where you basically are trading, they're called contracts. And each contract holds 100 shares of a particular investment. So let's just say, for instance, like AT&T, I can get a contract that someone else has already gone out. They've already purchased 100 shares of AT&T and they put it in a contract. I buy the contract. And if uh, AT&T goes up in price, I can make money uh, within, within minutes. But the great thing about options, which is different than most other trading, is that not only can I make money if AT&T goes up, I can also make money when AT&T goes down. So the great thing about options trading is that you don't have to put up as much. You earn your returns faster, <laughs> which is, you know, that's one of the things that I like about it. And then the other thing about options trading is that um, it's, um, it's cheaper, it's faster, and you don't have to wait as long, right? So you don't have to wait as long. So this was what makes options trading more interesting. So I wanna go over some of the common questions that I get when it comes to like options trading, learning it, understanding it. Um, do, I, do you need a lot of money to trade? Well. This is a question that everyone will ask. Do you need a lot of money? Well, whether it's investing or trading, you never need a lot of money. You can always start very small. You can always start with $1, okay? When it comes to investing, you don't have to have a lot. You can create your account, first of all, for free. And then you can put in as much as you want, as little or as much as you want. People can invest a million dollars or you can invest $1. So never let like the fear of, well, I don't have enough deter you from getting started. And here's the most important one that most people will do. And I beg of you not to do this. Don't say, well, I'll do it later or I'll do it when I start making more money. If you just seen the compound interest calculator, the most important thing to do with investing is to start early and to just start with whatever amount. I don't care if you put $25 away a month. $50 away a month. It's just important that you get started and you start early because even small amounts, if you start early enough, will wind up being large amounts later on. So you don't need a lot. When it comes to trading, you can get contracts for as little as $30, okay? As little as $30. So you don't need a lot of money to trade. So that's the other thing that a lot of people ask. Some people ask, do I have to sit in front of my computer all day? <laughs> no, like um, most mornings when I'm trading, I'm only trading, sometimes it, it, might, it might take 30 minutes. Sometimes it might take like an hour, hour and a half, but I'm usually never trading for my entire day, um, only for small portions until I get my desired return on my money. Um, there are people who ask, well, how much time does it take to learn? So in Freedom University, we have two courses. We have an investing course and an options course. And each course is a little over eight hours. 
So it takes a little over eight hours to go through the, the uh, options course and the investing course. Both of them are about a little over eight hours. And then the rest of the time is really you practicing. So it will take time to, it's like, I always say it's like learning a foreign language, right? So think about it. If you were to learn a foreign language, do you think you can learn it in eight hours? No, <laughs> like you can't learn a foreign language in eight hours. You can learn some basics. And the way I, I taught uh, the class in Freedom University is give you what you need in order to get you started and to know how to do it. But the real learning, in my opinion, comes from just practicing. So I never want to just throw you out there and say, okay, you learned everything, now go trade. Nope. The way it works in Freedom University is I show you how to open up an account, not just with anyone. We use the best trading platform that's out there, which is TD Ameritrade, and they have this program called Thinkorswim, and they have one of the best, the best trading platforms out there. And I'll show you how to navigate it and how to set it up. And so the time, the most time that you're going to spend is practicing. Now, here's the good thing about practicing. Maybe if you're working from um, during the day, because the market is open between 9.30 a.m. and 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you might say to myself, well, how am I going to practice if that's an important part? How do I practice if I'm at work? Well, here's the good thing. You can either have your phone and maybe you can practice when you're on your lunch break, or you can also practice after hours. So the program that we use, the Think or Swim program, has a feature where they let you practice after the market is closed, okay? So I show you how to use that in Freedom University. Now, here's the last question. Will I learn how to use the trading software? We just talked about that, right? So the Think or Swim um, TD Ameritrade platform is what I teach, which is one of the best. And I show you how to set it up. I show you how to get into the trade. So I have videos in Freedom University of me, not only just going over information like I'm doing tonight and showing you strategies of how to trade, but I show you videos of what I see, the strategy I'm using and then I actually show you on my phone how I get into the trade and how I get out of the trade. So I show you everything that you need to know in order to learn how to figure out um, options trading. Now, here are just some of the funny, some of these are funny and some of these are just like, I, I love these because these are just some of the, the, posts that people in Freedom University, my club members, that they put up. And the great thing about being in a community with other people is you get to see how they're trading, when they get into a trade, they'll tell you what time they got in, what time they got out. They'll show you their profits that they made. So here's Shantae, we went to high school together. She says, I did it. I hit 10,000 for the month of November. We have something called the 10K challenge. Every month we trade a different stock and you use the strategies in the course. And your goal is to practice to get to 10,000 so that you know when you go over to your real account, like what's possible and how you would need to do that in order for you to make $10,000 a month. So she says, my call with coach today truly helped me understand my next play. I got into a put at 108 contracts at $23. I left to take my daughter to the appointment. Coach texted me and said, you see how the put came down and hit our level? So I pulled over and got into the mobile app and sold two contracts at 157 for $33, making 40%. I just knew I was not going to complete the goal. It's hard. It's not easy. I told coach I couldn't comprehend watching the video on my own, but when I get to have a one-on-one -on -one with her, it makes sense. Tish is the goat. She breaks it all the way down. I was afraid to ask questions because I thought she wouldn't understand what I was trying to convey. She told me to stop, ask, uh, to don't stop asking. Let me stop rambling and go cry my tears of joy, wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving. I'm so proud to be a part of this group. Kelly said, thank you so much, Tish. Um, I was I was on, going to pass on this one and just study and you contacted me and gave me that boost. I know I got this six days later, boom, 
Jilly and G know the, they boost me up. So when they hit 10K, I told you, okay, okay, I'm coming. Laugh out loud. Mia said, finally, I'm done with the 10K year-to-date challenge with Apple. I started with 5,000 in my account on Tuesday of last week. I also did a swing last week with Tesla and got out today. And she shows how much she made, 10,000. And then this one, she made 1,500. Mary says, I'm officially done for today. This was hard for me working, job interviewing, and trading. And if any of you guys know, a lot of times you might be saying, well, can I do this along with working? Well, Mary says, so I can say today was a great day. I completed the challenge. Thank you, Amazon. Thank you, Tashina, for the live trading. So I was able to see my mistakes. Mary is a VIP member. Judy said, I made this on Amazon live trading today with Tashina. $1,200. Wanda, oh, thanks, Tish. Although I dealt with tragedy recently, I still stayed in touch by listening and learning from all your posts. Believe it or not, I was following your predictions on the Telegram every morning. You and only you is the reason I was able to complete the challenge. So thank you. Here's a funny one by G. G said, free you family. Just can't make this stuff up. I got into this trade today, like May 10th, 2021. At 12.06 today, I put up $352. Listen, I quit my day job 925 times today. <laughs> I'm about to go cry and pray. But before I go, Siri, please play. Kanye West can't tell me nothing. I'm not participating in the trading challenge. I think I just broke the rules on the first day and she chose how she only put up $352 and how her account hit 3000 Jalea said, happy trading today. I think I'm done. And she showed how much she made today. Here's one of the ones of a, a member who just learned investing through me. He said, I would like to express my gratitude to Tashina Anderson for completely altering my per perceptive on investing. While I had been casually investing over the years, I lacked a real strategy. After hearing about this course, I decided to take part and it made a huge difference. Along with educating me on the markets, she made a deep dive into my current investments and gave meaningful feedback. She helped me discover that I was paying far too much in fees and provided me the tools to keep them a, as minimal as possible. I also consolidated many of my accounts and now have a sound strategy to reach my retirement goals. She's personable, fun, and very <laughs> extremely knowledgeable. Thanks to the course, I have solid returns and have decreased my brokerage fees by more than 50%. What I found most valuable is that she went above and beyond to ensure I understand each of the concepts she reviewed. If you at all are, if you're at all serious about investing, please consider this course. Okay, so let's just talk a little bit about Freedom University. So currently we have, someone said, I saw in the chat, they said, just tell me how to sign up. I'm ready. <laughs> um, so it's a lot of great information. I appreciate your time. You're welcome. How do I get information on Freedom? So Freedom University, we have two memberships. We have a legacy membership and a VIP membership. A legacy membership is $19.97 and it's $27 a month. For this membership, you get um, access to our investing course as well as our options trading course. And guys, um, options trading is like learning a trade. I want you to think of being able to just pick your phone up and once you learn this strategy, you can pick this up and you can just trade whenever you want. You could be on your job, you can be on vacation, and you can just learn how to make money from your phone. So this was something I had to spend a lot of money, way more than $2,000 that I had to spend on courses, learning how to options trade. So the legacy membership offers both of these courses where you can learn investing and options. We do four monthly live group, uh, group classes. These are investing and option classes. So they're every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. We do challenges, we have financial trackers, ongoing support, over 36 hours you get access to a previous group sessions, and you also get access to a private Facebook community. As a legacy member, we meet on the first and the third 
every Wednesday at 7.30 and we do a group class where we talk about investing. And on the second and the fourth Wednesday of the month, we talk about options. As a VIP member, the VIP membership is $3,997 and they both come with a $27 a month membership fee. And this is for ongoing support. So you're paying an upfront fee for the courses and the information, but then you pay a monthly fee for ongoing support. As a VIP member, you get everything that's included in the legacy membership, the courses, the four group sessions, but you also get more accountability and more one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. So a lot of the people that are in the university are VIP members. And VIP members also get access to my monthly office hours that you could book with me every month and just book a time, me and you, we talk. I answer any questions. I am, this membership is to make sure that I hold you accountable and that I am answering all of your questions and you're never like confused or you never have to feel like you, if you don't want to ask something in front of other people, you can always do it through my office hours. You also get tech support um, via an app, meaning you can text me as much as you want. So once you become a VIP member, baby, you got, you in, okay? You can text me through an app and you can text me as many questions as you want to ask me. Um, you also get access to, this is one of the best features, in my opinion, live trading. So about two to three times a week, sometimes more, I go live and I trade live with you. So I show you what I'm getting in. I show you when I enter, when I exit, I show you what strategy I see. And so live trading to me is where the aha moment comes for a lot of people when they can actually see me do it live. As a VIP member, you also get access to four hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching. So the way it works is you, we have a website, you pick a membership that you would like to get started with, and then that membership will give you access. You'll get an email and that email will say, okay, here's access to our private, click this button and you can go right into our private Facebook group. It'll also say, click this button and you can get into our portal. And that portal will give you access to all the courses and any of the past classes that we've done. Okay, if you're a VIP member, you'll get a call from me and I'll be setting up your one-on-one -on -one time, making sure you have access to all the other private things that you'll get, um, that you'll have available to you as a VIP member. So you get special attention as a VIP member. Now we have something new. So these are the memberships that we had in 2021, but I have something new that I wanna share with you tonight. It's a new membership. So I have so many people that are like, well, maybe you don't have the 2000 or the 4,000 to get started, but you wanna learn more about investing. So I've created a new membership, a new membership. And I wanted to share it with you tonight. So for 2022, we're going to have a new membership for Freedom University because we want to make sure that there are more people out there that are getting access to information that can help them put, prepare themselves for retirement. So it's called our starter membership. So it's called our starter membership. And we only have about 250, it's a promotion. So it's for a promotional period of time. I'm going to try it out. And we have only about 250 memberships available for, for this new membership. So the starter membership and at this price. So if you've ever watched me on social media, you know, I will start with one price, but I'm giving you, I'm always giving you the lowest price when I get started. And as the community builds the, I'm, I'm giving it away. So the price will increase as time goes on. So the starter membership is only $47 a month. So what do you get with the starter membership? So if you feel like I just want to get started, I want to start learning, you can get our investing course and you can learn not only my investments, you can learn what I have with my children. You can learn how to, um, all the things, uh, the, the extra um, strategies that I use with my portfolio. You get access to two monthly live group coaching, um, group investing classes. So we meet on the first and the third Wednesday, 
And so you'll learn, you'll also get access to live group sessions. So not only do you get the course, you get access to live group sessions, but only two live sessions. You get access to challenges, our financial trackers. You get ongoing support just by being in the group. After every class on Wednesday, I always open it up to answer any questions that someone might have. And you get over 36 hours of previous group sessions. Um, and you get access to our private Facebook community. So one of the big questions everyone always wants to ask is that no matter what membership that you pick, you know, they always want to know what well, can I upgrade later? So I pay for legacy. Can I upgrade to VIP later? Yes. If I pay for starter, can I upgrade to legacy or VIP later? Yes. Now, the biggest difference is you, if you start with the starter membership, and you decide to upgrade to legacy or to VIP, your monthly membership will always be 47. So there's a benefit to getting started at the legacy or the VIP because your monthly membership is only $27 a month. As a um, starter member, your membership will always be 47, even when you upgrade. Now tonight and tonight only, I do have a promotion. I have a promotion for those of you who are interested in learning options. So just so you know, in the starter membership, you're not learning options, you're learning investing, you're learning credit, you're learning, um, you know, we talk about other things like net worth, you're learning other things, but you're not learning options in the starter membership. So if you do wanna go ahead and jumpstart the game, and you want to learn more about options, then I do have a promotion for tonight. And that promotion is um, where you get 10% off using code, you can use the code FREEDOM10. And all you have to do is put in FREEDOM10 and hit apply code, and you'll get 10% off your legacy or VIP membership. Okay. Now, one last thing I wanna show you, because I want you to see the benefit in the legacy and the VIP membership. And that benefit really is the options trading. So I wanna show you one last thing. Yep, I think I just answered, you can upgrade. You can always upgrade. Okay, so I wanna show you one last thing about why, you know, if you, if you look at, so if you look at the price for the legacy the 2000, or you look at the price for the VIP, I want you to see how much you can make in options trading. Okay. So in options trading, I teach, we just went over this the other night with the club members. So I'm going to share this with you guys. Okay. So let's go over this. One of the things with trading is this is an example of what you can make if you start with $1,000. So a lot of times people are like, well, I have to have a lot of money. Nope. So I want to show you what you can make in 2020 if you start with $1,000. So this is the, the earnings that I teach for people to make on a weekly basis in their options trading, 20%. So if you start with $1,000 and you trade with 20% and you make 20%, your first month, you'll have a $800 in a profit. That's not a lot, but you just started with $1,000. So if you make 20% every week, what is that? That's $200 a week. You make $200 week two, that's $200. Week three, you make $200. Week four, you make $200. That's a total of $800 for the month. So you had $1,000 you trade with 20% of your account and you actually make 20% of your account every single week. Pretty simple, right? So then your account is $1,800. Well, month two, you do the same thing. And these are your earnings. And then this is what your account total is. And if you just keep going from month to month, and it's really about consistency and it's about having a consistent strategy that you're using, from month to month, this is how your account should grow. And by the time you get down to month seven, you should have about 61,000. By the time you get to month 10, you should have about 357,000. And by the time you get to month 12, you should have about 1 million, a little over a million dollars, okay? So if you pay for whether legacy or if you pay for 
um, the VIP, the reason it is the price that it is because this is the amount that you can make when trading using the strategy. Now, even if you were to earn 15% and you use the same strategy, this would be the total that you would make at the end of the year. Or even if you made 10%, every single week, then this would be the amount that you would make at the end of the year. Regardless, I've shown you a, um, a, a, a trade of earning money on your own. And what I like about it is I don't have to sell like a product. I don't have to get a customer. I don't have to do any of that. I can literally just sit for a few 30 minutes, an hour, and I can make a lot of money on my money. So make sure you have the code, which is Freedom10. And tonight you get 10% off of the Legacy or the VIP membership. Or you can say, I just want to get started and I want to try the starter membership and start learning and I can always upgrade later. Um, where can you get started in Freedom University? One, you can either go to our website. Our website is the freedomuniversityonline.com. You can... Go to the link in my bio, my, on Instagram, my name is Tashina Anderson, and there's a link in my bio. Um, this is my YouTube and my Twitter, um, but this is the best way. Now, depending on when you're watching this, there might be a link below for you just to click the link and, um, and to get started. And I'm also going to put it right here for, for those of you, um, I don't know if you want to take a picture of this. But I'm also going to put it over here for you guys. Okay, one last thing. If someone has referred you to the webinar and they're already a member of Freedom University and they refer you, please check with them because a lot of my members will are affiliates of Freedom University and they have a link to send you and you can use that link to get started and still get the same um, starter membership, you can use their link and you can still get um, access to the, the uh, discount code for tonight. So I want to make sure that you know if this, someone did refer you, please talk to them and ask them for their referral link so that you can get started with their referral link because they referred you. No, so if you're married, you do not have to have a separate membership for your spouse. You can... Um, you can use the same membership. Now, you will only get one access to our Facebook group and you only get one um, login um, and you only get one person that will be allowed into our VIP chats, but there's only one person allowed, but you're in the same house. So if, if you wanna, have, if that person wants to get into the Facebook group and that person wants to get into any of our VIP um, chat groups that we have, they would have to get a membership as well. <laughs> Denise says, that's the jam. No customers. Denise is someone who actually, I think joined within us in October and she, she went through the course and she completed the 10K challenge like the next month. I was extremely proud of her. So what do you need to do to move from VIP to like, do you just pay the difference on the entire amount for VIP? Yeah, you pay the difference. So if you get started with, let's just say, the starter membership and you want to upgrade to legacy, you would pay $2,000. If you want to go from starter to VIP, you would pay $4,000 to, um, to become a VIP member. So do you pay the membership fee then pay? So you pay the upfront fee for the course information. So if you would like to be a legacy member, you pay the upfront fee that gives you access to the courses and all the content within the university. And the $27 a month is pay, paid the next month, but it's a, um, it's a program. So it's not like you have to get, call me and give it to me or anything like that. It's just automated, you know, based on what, package you pick, what membership you pick. So it would start charging your card the following month for the $27 a month to have ongoing access to the courses and all the group sessions because we do live sessions every single week. Yes, you can start at Legacy and you can move over to VIP later. Absolutely. Referral links um, are only um, being able to, you have to be a VIP member in order to have a referral link. And you can check your VIP 
area of your portal to become an affiliate, like right in that area, it shows you how to become an affiliate with Freedom University, but you have to be a VIP member. New membership opens tonight, so you can become a part of the new membership tonight. Very informative seminar, thank you. Would it be considered a tax write-off? Absolutely, Edu it goes on to education. So um, I have had members who their jobs have paid for the course because it was continued education for their job. So they've actually, they get a receipt and they can send it to their job and they were able to write it off. So whether your job pays for continued education or when you're doing your taxes, you can write it off as education and you do get a receipt. You welcome, you welcome. Do you have a payment plan? Um, well, all I have is the, um, the way that you can get started, which is the starter membership, which is $47 a month. To me, that's the easiest way to get started. And you can always upgrade later to any of the other memberships. But you do have to pay for the courses because the options course is a course that is a very expensive trade that you can learn how to make on your own. You can always upgrade when you're ready if you're in the starter membership. Will you be eligible for the discount if you booked a discovery call next week? So no, if you want to get the, um, the discount, you have to sign up tonight in order to get the discount. Even if you have a discovery call booked for next week, you have to sign up tonight. Thank you, very proud of me and my husband. Thank you so, so much information. This was good, great information. Thank you so much. All right, you welcome guys. Well, hopefully I answered all your questions. Thank you for the seminar, excellent seminar. Thank you so much. Okay, so don't forget, if you are interested in Freedom University, I have made it, there's no excuse for you not to get the information. We're having a lot of fun. I do want to remind you like the name speaks for itself, Freedom University. So this university is if you want to be around others and everyone is focused on achieving financial independence. And so this is what we talk about. We talk about it through investing, through trading, getting our finances in order, and there's going to be more to come. I have been building this university, and there's so much here already, but trust me, there's going to be so much more. So being a part of Freedom University and all that we offer, you know, I always say like, you're not going to want to look up, if you know me... <laughs> I had friends and family members. I remember when I started in direct sales and they were like, you know, well, you know, I don't know. And then they looked up and before you know it, I had made millions and, you know, had so much from it. And I can just tell you that there is no way that you're not going to find me on social media or find even my club members, um, you know, years from now or months from now and not see the progress. There are so many of the people in the university, when I look at their progress from one year of being a part of the university and how their portfolios have grown, how they've learned trading, you know, how they've gotten things in order, like that gives you peace of mind. It gives you peace of mind when your finances is in order. So um, just know that, you know, we plan on doing great things at Freedom University. And I don't want to say me because we're going to do great things together. And for all of you who are interested or you're looking at it, my goal is always to bring the fire. And my club members will tell you every single class we have, you know, I put information on top of information and I am always trying to make sure that everyone has an understanding. So I'm going back and I'm, I will say things again, or I will say it in a different way. And I always want to make sure that you feel comfortable, that you're asking, that you can ask the question in the club and not feel like you're going to be judged or someone's going to think it's a crazy question because this is like learning a foreign language. So I expect you to find it somewhat challenging, but it's my job to make sure that it's simple and that you can understand it in like really small sections, right? So every class is short for a reason. They're short, but they're, they're, it's a lot of information so that I keep your attention. And so I've put a lot of 
blood, sweat, and tears into creating this university, getting the information to give it back out to others. And hopefully tonight I was able to give you guys a lot of good information, even if you're not a part of Freedom University. I just don't want to see anyone look up and get to the end and then have deep levels of regret because I see it a lot. And so if nothing else, hopefully you learned a lot through this, this webinar, this free webinar. Hopefully you learned a lot um, just how to take this serious, how to really um, know that this is something that you need to understand. And even if you have a financial advisor, you should never put something this serious where you have to live off of it in someone else's hands. Because what's going to happen is you'll always have to depend on someone else once you start doing that. And this university was created to do exactly what they don't want you to, to know is how to do it yourself, <laughs> how to understand it yourself. That's what this university was created to do. So, you know, I'm looking forward to you being a different person at the end of 2022, getting not only getting your finances in order, but, you know, being able to hang with the best of them in a conversation about the market and how you know you're on the right track and how you know you have the best investments and how you know you're doing the right thing and be able to challenge anything that they say because you should walk away from this being in this university and you should 100% be a personal investor, someone who knows what they're doing. And not only that, you should walk away from this and learning also how to be an effective and profitable trader. I'm seeing a lot of thank yous in the chat. You are welcome. You're welcome. With the referral link, will the 10% discount apply as well? Yes, it will. Yep. You just, all you have to do is put in Freedom 10 into the, um, there's an area that says coupon code and put in Freedom 10 and hit apply. And even if someone gives you a referral link, you'll still be able to get the 10% off. Okay. Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you for joining me on this free webinar. And I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to give you valuable information tonight. And hopefully I look forward to seeing you inside of Freedom University. So don't wait, don't hesitate, hesitate don't procrastinate, don't go another month and say, I'm going to get to it. Make sure that you get started with us and Freedom University. Let's have some fun. Let's make some money together. And let's make this year one of the best years of our lives. Thank you guys so much.